30-year-old Michael Rotundo was ordered by a judge to leave his family home in Camillus. The case was watched closely by family litigation attorneys. It's not the typical eviction, uh, eviction situation that you see. Attorney Gerald Raymond is the managing partner at the Tully Rinky Syracuse office. There's provisions that allow you to evict someone where there is no landlord-tenant relationship. He says in most eviction cases he sees, there is always a landlord or tenant relationship, which comes with a written lease or verbal agreement. But that wasn't the case for Rotundo. This is the kind of situation where there never was any kind of an agreement reached. It's just that someone was, was living in a house with permission. Under the law in our state, a parent is allowed to revoke the permission for anyone living in their house, even if that is their own child. Now, the law still requires, even if you revoke that permission, you got to give proper notice. And as I have been following this story, I understand that the young man believed that he was entitled to six months notice. But the judge didn't think so. Raymond says in these cases it's tough because you're talking about family matters. If, if there can't be some agreement made between the, the parents and the child in this case to give them some extra time to move out, the judge is going to have to make an order. If a son or daughter wants to fight to stay, they can propose to pay rent or other expenses, but it is up to the parents to agree to the deal. They'd have to give proper notice, whether it's 30 days or in some instances, the notice can be as little as three days if the rent has been being paid, isn't being paid. But that notice must be given before you can go to court.